Welcome back to Artificial History, where we dive into the fascinating what-ifs of history. I'm your host, Dr. Don Texist. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an episode. Today we're exploring an alternate timeline where the space race didn't end with a pause in space exploration, but instead led to humanity becoming a spacefaring civilization. Let's jump right in. In our actual history, the space race was an intense competition between the United States and the Soviet Union. It was a remarkable period of innovation and technological advancement, but eventually the race slowed down after the US landed on the moon in 1969. In this alternate timeline, the Soviet Union managed to land cosmonauts on the moon just before the United States. This surprise victory by the Soviets fueled a more intense rivalry between the two superpowers, pushing them to invest even more in their respective space programs. The US and USSR continued to achieve milestone after milestone in space exploration. The race intensified with missions to Mars, manned outposts on the moon, and space stations orbiting Earth. Other nations such as Europe, China, and India joined the race, further advancing humanity's reach into the cosmos. As the 1980s and 1990s progressed, the spirit of competition gradually transformed into one of collaboration. The US, USSR and other spacefaring nations recognized the benefits of pooling their resources and expertise, leading to groundbreaking joint missions and the establishment of international space stations. By the turn of the 21st century, humanity had built thriving lunar colonies. These outposts served as hubs for scientific research, mining operations and even space tourism. The moon became a stepping stone for further exploration into our solar system. In the early 2000s, a joint international mission to Mars led to the first human footsteps on the red planet. This monumental achievement sparked a new wave of enthusiasm for space exploration, and soon manned missions to other planets and their moons became a reality. Advancements in space technology led to the development of faster and more efficient propulsion systems, allowing humans to travel deeper into the solar system. By the 2020s, missions to the outer planets and their moons, such as Jupiter's Europa and Saturn's Titan, were conducted with relative ease. In this alternate present day, humanity is a true spacefaring civilization. Permanent colonies exist on the Moon and Mars, and outposts are being established on other celestial bodies. The Earth's economy and society are deeply interconnected with space exploration, as resources from extraterrestrial mining operations fuel our technological advancements. This alternate history paints a picture of a world where humanity's curiosity and competitive spirit have driven us to explore and colonize the cosmos. While we can never know for sure how things would have played out, it's fascinating to imagine the possibilities that might have unfolded if the space race had never slowed down. This alternate history paints a picture of a world where humanity's curiosity and competitive spirit have driven us to explore and colonize the cosmos. While we can never know for sure how things would have played out, it's fascinating to imagine the possibilities that might have unfolded if the space race had never slowed down. As a spacefaring civilization, humanity now faces new challenges and opportunities. Issues such as space debris, international space law, and the ethics of extraterrestrial exploration have become central to global policy discussions. At the same time, the wealth of knowledge and resources gained from space has opened up new frontiers in science, technology, and human understanding. That's all for today's episode of Artificial History. If you enjoyed this alternate timeline, please give us a like and leave a comment with your thoughts on how the world might have been different if the space race had continued unabated and humanity had become a true spacefaring civilization. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss an episode. See you next time. Sincerely, Dr. Don Texist.